Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on News 8 First at 4. More on that Lockport story in a moment. First, local leaders and lawmakers are raising concerns over the possibility of a new casino coming to the Rochester area. Yeah, this comes after the current legislative session mostly wrapped up this weekend. We do have team coverage on this story for you. Alex Love standing by. He'll join us with reaction from City Council and the Chamber of Commerce. But first, we begin with Mackenzie Mislin in studio now with the latest on a contract that Rochester leaders say went undisclosed. Mackenzie. Yes, John and Natalie, one of the bills left over this session would allow the governor's office to negotiate a new gaming compact with the Seneca Nation. Both city leaders and county leaders say they weren't aware of any communications over a casino. The bill would allow Governor Kathy Hochul to enter negotiations with the Senecas over a gaming compact. It passed the Senate but has yet to pass the assembly due to concerns raised by legislators. According to their website last week, the Seneca Nation announced they reached an agreement in principle with New York State for a new 20-year casino gaming compact. Their current compact is set to expire on December 9th. Both the mayor and county executive have responded to inquiries. In a statement from Mayor Malik Evans, he says city leadership and local state delegations have not been involved in conversations regarding a casino, but should have been. He adds, quote, there are already numerous casinos in the Rochester area. My focus remains on meaningful opportunities that create a vibrant Rochester economy focused on the jobs of the 21st century. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello agreed, releasing a statement saying, quote, it's deeply troubling that this community has now been placed in the position of debating an issue without knowing the full detail of what has been negotiated. State Assemblyman Harry Bronson expressed his concerns on the issue, too. I certainly have serious concerns about a casino in downtown Rochester. I, I'm not sure that is the most appropriate place for it, and there's much better ways for economic development in our city. Second of all, I also have some concerns regarding any location within our region, given the current saturation of casinos in the Finger Lakes region, as well as Western New York. We are awaiting a statement from the Seneca Nation, and coming up at 5, we'll hear from State Senator Jeremy Cooney on the potential deal. John. All right, Mackenzie, thank you. The possibility of a casino going up in Rochester has politicians and business leaders at all levels speaking out. Alex Love joins us now with those thoughts from county and city officials. Alex. Well, it's important to note, John, those like Bob Duffy with the Rochester Chamber of Commerce caution people to not get too caught up into this thought yet because no elected leaders appear to have any knowledge of the new gaming co compact agreement, specifically including a new casino proposed in Rochester. Duffy's team at the Chamber of Commerce do feel that there are some upsides to having a casino possibly being built in Rochester, like new jobs, attracting tourism and activity downtown, especially if it was built in by the convention center. However, he reflected back on his time as mayor where multiple meetings had to take place with the Seneca Nation just for a building site to be considered. Then permits would need to be filled out for the building. He says neither, neither he nor any of those he knows in city government have participated in meetings like that as of now. Others like county legislature Rachel Barnhart have strong opposition already to this idea, arguing it will drive people in, in, in the city towards gambling addiction, taking money from other businesses, and pushing people into poverty along the way. Adding a series of studies and research should be done first off to show, to show how a casino would benefit the, the city of Rochester. We need an economic impact study. We need a market study. We need to know all of the details. This is not something that should be negotiated in the dark, in secret, without any public input and within a matter of days. Casinos can be helpful in some, some ways. Uh, I don't anyway think there's some huge economic driver. They do create jobs. They create uh, revenue for localities. Uh, there are some good things about that. I honestly don't think it's like having a Micron come into your community. That's, that's something that I think does become transformational. During his time as mayor, Bob Duffy explained when he met with the Seneca Nation, they they declined to purchase land in the city to move forward on any plans but at the time, but they were professional and transparent about their intentions. John, Natalie, back to you. All right, Alex, thank you. And for the latest updates on this story, please follow our coverage online at rochesterfirst.com.